Have you ever wondered why the Dutch potato industry, small as the country may be, stands so tall on the global stage? It's a curious conundrum, isn't it? A seemingly paradoxical puzzle that leaves many scratching their heads. Well, let's peel back the layers and unravel this mystery together, shall we? First, let's set the stage. The Netherlands, as you may well know, is a small country. It's about 160 times smaller than the United States, and yet it's a titan in the potato industry. This tiny nation is one of the largest exporters of potatoes worldwide, shipping out millions of tons every year. Quite a feat for a country that could fit into the state of Maryland two and a half times over, wouldn't you agree? But this didn't happen overnight. No, the Dutch potato industry has a rich history that dates back centuries. It's a tale of transformation and innovation, of hard work and determination. You see, the potato wasn't always a Dutch staple. It was introduced to the Netherlands in the late 16th century, and for a long time, it was considered a lowly, even undesirable food. But over time, the Dutch saw potential in this humble tuber. They cultivated it, bred it, and transformed it into a prized crop. And so, the Dutch potato industry began to grow, slowly, but surely. With each passing decade, the potato became more and more integral to Dutch agriculture. And now, it's the cornerstone of their agricultural success, a testament to their ingenuity and resilience. So how did the Dutch manage to become a potato powerhouse? Buckle up, as we delve into the roots of this fascinating story. Let's rewind to the 16th century, when the first potatoes were introduced to the Netherlands. Imagine a world without fries, without hearty stews, and without the comforting warmth of a baked potato. Hard to picture, isn't it? But that was the reality in the Netherlands before the 16th century. The potato, native to the Americas, was a stranger to the Dutch until it was introduced by Spanish explorers returning from the New World. Now this wasn't the russet or the Yukon gold we're familiar with today, no, these were types of potatoes that would be almost unrecognizable to us now, with a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. But one thing they all had in common was their potential. Initially, the Dutch didn't see the potato as a food source. Instead, it was viewed as an ornamental plant, a curiosity from a far-off land to be admired for its exotic beauty. The potato was grown in botanical gardens and seen as a symbol of prestige among the wealthy. However, it wasn't long before the true potential of the potato was discovered. It took a few decades, maybe a century or so, but eventually people began to experiment with the potato in their kitchens. They found that it could be boiled, baked, or fried, and it provided a filling and nutritious meal. The potato was versatile and hardy, capable of being stored for long periods, which made it an ideal food source for the harsh winters. As the culinary potential of the potato was unearthed, it began to move from the gardens of the wealthy to the fields of the farmers. The humble potato, once seen as an ornamental plant, was now recognized for its true value. It wasn't just a pretty face, it was a life-sustaining crop. And that's how the love affair between the Dutch and the potato began. From an ornamental plant to a staple food, the potato's journey in the Netherlands was a testament to its resilience and versatility. A humble beginning for what would become a national sensation. The potato wasn't always the Dutch staple it is today, but as time went on, it began to take root in Dutch society. This humble tuber, often overlooked in the grand scheme of cuisine, gradually transformed into a cornerstone of Dutch agriculture and gastronomy. Imagine this. It's the early 19th century, and the Netherlands is in the grip of a devastating potato disease. Fields of crops are wiped out, leaving a barren landscape in their wake. But the Dutch, resourceful as they are, respond with resilience. They develop new potato varieties, resistant to the disease, and the potato becomes not just a survivor, but a symbol of Dutch tenacity. Fast forward to the early 20th century, when the world is ravaged by the horrors of the Second World War. Food is scarce, and in these challenging times, the potato becomes a lifeline. It's versatile, nutritious, and above all, abundant. The Dutch potato becomes a staple, a symbol of sustenance and survival in the midst of adversity. 
But the rise of the Dutch potato isn't merely a tale of survival, it's a story of transformation. The potato, once considered a lowly root vegetable, becomes an integral part of Dutch cuisine. From the hearty stamp pot, a traditional dish of mashed potatoes mixed with vegetables, to the beloved frikandel, a deep-fried sausage served with a side of chips, the potato reigns supreme. And let's not forget the Dutch agricultural sector. The Netherlands, a small country with a large agricultural footprint, becomes one of the world's leading potato exporters. The humble potato, now a symbol of Dutch agricultural prowess, contributes significantly to the nation's economy. Thus, from the ashes of adversity, the Dutch potato rose to prominence. It weathered disease, survived wars, and became a beloved staple of Dutch cuisine. It transformed from a simple root vegetable into a symbol of national resilience and prosperity. From adversity sprouted opportunity, and the Dutch potato industry was ready to bloom. Fast forward to the 20th century, and the Dutch potato industry was entering a golden age. It was a time of unprecedented growth and innovation, with the humble spud at the heart of it all. The potato's journey from field to fork was revolutionized. New varieties of potatoes were introduced, each with their unique taste profiles and culinary uses. The binchy, a mid-20th century introduction, quickly became a beloved staple in Dutch kitchens and around the world. With its firm flesh and buttery taste, it was perfect for everything from traditional stamp pot to the universally adored fries. But the innovation didn't stop at the potatoes themselves. Technological advancements in farming and processing took the industry to new heights. Precision agriculture, using advanced technologies and data analytics, allowed farmers to optimize their yields while minimizing environmental impact. These innovations weren't just beneficial for the Dutch, they set a new standard for potato farming worldwide. Processing plants too were modernized. The advent of mechanized peeling and cutting machines meant that potatoes could be prepared more efficiently and hygienically than ever before. This increased efficiency allowed the Dutch to meet the growing global demand for their potatoes and potato products. And as the industry grew, so did the need for dedicated research and development. The establishment of potato research institutes, such as Wageningen University and Research, underscored the importance of the potato in Dutch agriculture and economy. These institutions conducted groundbreaking research into everything from disease resistance and yield optimization to the nutritional benefits of potatoes. The combined effect of these developments was a potato industry that was not just thriving, but leading the way. And it wasn't just about economic success. The Dutch potato industry was making a real difference, feeding millions and reducing the environmental impact of agriculture. The Dutch potato industry had come of age, transforming from a national treasure to a global powerhouse. It was a golden age indeed, and one that continues to inspire and influence the way we think about, grow and enjoy potatoes today. So, what have we learned about the Dutch potato industry? We've journeyed through the paradoxical world of the potato, starting with the early beginnings of this humble tuber. We saw how the potato, originally from the Andean mountains, found its way to the lowlands of the Netherlands. The Dutch, with their knack for innovation and their fertile soil, took to potato farming like a duck to water. From there, we witnessed the rise of the Dutch potato. It was not an overnight success, but a slow and steady climb to prominence. The Dutch farmers, ever resourceful and resilient, discovered ways to cultivate potatoes efficiently, eventually turning the Netherlands into one of the largest potato producers in Europe. The Dutch potato industry hit its golden age in the 20th century, with the country becoming a global giant in potato production and export. Innovation was at the heart of this success, with the Dutch leading the way in mechanization, crop rotation, and disease control. Their potatoes, renowned for their quality and diversity, found their way to dinner tables around the world. But let's not forget the factors contributing to this success. The Dutch have a unique combination of fertile soil, a cool climate, and a strategic location that allows for easy access to both land and sea routes. They also have a strong tradition of agricultural research and development, which has allowed them to stay at the forefront of the industry. 
The Dutch potato industry's success is not just about the numbers, though. It's about the people behind it. The farmers who toil in the fields, the scientists who innovate in the labs, and the traders who bring the potatoes to the global market. And of course, it's about the potato itself, a humble tuber that has become a global food staple. Whether it's mashed, fried, or baked, the potato is a versatile and nutritious food that feeds millions around the world. From humble beginnings to global prominence, the story of the Dutch potato industry is a testament to the power of innovation, resilience, and a good spud.